All right, guys. Welcome back to part ten of our movie ticket booking system. In this part, we'll be creating the user sign up and login function. So let's dive right into it. So these are our methods to sign up and login for our admin class. And up here are gonna be methods to sign up and login for user class. So right off the bat static void user sign up. That's that and static void user login. So if I remember correctly, we have a user in our database. Select star from users. Yeah, the username is root and password is root. So since our login function is more easy, we'll prepare the login first. So what we need to do is ask them to enter that username, password, select password from user users where username equals to question mark we validate this password if password dot equals pass real now one thing you must have noticed is why did i use dot equals why didn't i use password equals to equals to the bitwise comparison so the reason for that is in java when you use that comparison double equals to instead of checking the content of that string it will check if the location is same or not so what might happen is password might be stored in different location pass real might be stored in different location and even if both of them are equal to each other it will show false so the correct way to check the contents of two things and if they are same or not is to use dot equals anyways Mm, we validate the password by passing the username login successful and we give them user u equals to new user and u dot user menu where user id oh okay so we need to fetch user id as well let's fetch the let's prepare the function to fetch the user id public mm, user id is gonna be end fetch user id we are gonna pass the sql string and the username it's the same basically the same function as above over here instead of just returning the password which is a string format we are gonna return user id Let's copy this entire thing. Try connection correct, set parameter, username correct, result pass. Instead of just pass, this will become user ID. And instead of get string, get int. And instead of password, we are gonna fetch user ID as simple as that. Hmm. All right, so that's our function done and dusted. Over here, 
we need to prepare our next SQL string. We pick it up from here only. It's almost the same string, so select user ID. User ID from users where username equals to something. We print user ID equals to db dot fetch user id string sql and username correct and that will return us the user id now we are declaring the string again over here so we don't need to declare it as the user id over here and that should work hmm so that's our user login class. Let's try running it. Press 2 to log in as user. Username root. Password root. And oops. So I think what we did is for case two we forgot to put user login over here yeah and over here as well forgot to put break these guys silly mistakes logical errors these are the types of error that won't, your compiler won't show to you anyways user login and break mm, yeah this should work now. Let's terminate this program. Let's clear the screen and run it again. Login as user and the username root and the password root. Login successful. Let's try running this program as well. Press one to see all show times. Yeah, it's working. All right. Let's. Exit this program and yeah, let's make the user sign up page now. So, this is the sign up page. To sign up, we are gonna need name, phone number, address, as well as username and password. For username and password, you are gonna simply pick it from you know what, we are gonna pick up this entire function itself. Database operation, we are not going to need it. Let's pick up this entire function <clears throat> because it's almost same. We are picking, we are taking the username, password, mm, name, phone number, and address. So let's select these two lines and paste it below it. string this field is gonna be name enter your name and the next field is enter your phone number now the phone number is gonna be string as well and we are have we are gonna have to make another copy yeah password and this field is going to be address for address we need wait if i remember correctly we took all these inputs somewhere oh no we did my bad also we don't need <laughs> these classes methods my bad anyways we didn't take it anywhere i just had a flashback from theater class over here we got the issue of inserting the theater right which is in admin class we took the options in that admin class class to add movies yeah these things were giving us issue hopefully we don't get such issues because we are taking all strings right so we would hope 
mostly not going to get this issue. Duplicate local variable. Yeah, not password. This is phone. Address is going to be next line. Hopefully that next line doesn't give us error. Insert into user. Users. Now the field column names in our user table is username, password, name, phone and address. Address is correct. Yeah. Total five fields. Three, four, five. All right. Five question marks. And we are done. This will be, get passed into this. Over here, we need to add the name, phone, and address variables. Admin registered, not admin. User registered successfully. Something went wrong. Signed up failed. Let's try running this and see if we get any errors or something. John, John, no, enter your password one, two, three, four, and we did the same mistake again. My bad, guys. My bad. We forgot to <laughs> call the function over here user sign up and break. Last time, last time you have gonna you're gonna have to see that. Let's clear the terminal, run the program again, sign up as user, enter your username, John Doe, and the password, 1, 2, 3, 4, enter your name, John, phone number, 9876543210, do we already have, no, we don't have that number, okay. Getting same error again. I mean, we need to change that line. This line, we need to change it. Enter your phone number to what uh, address. But yeah, we need to take multiple inputs. If we did select star from users over here, address went as null. Same error we got in theta class. This time around, we learned from our mistakes. That's why we can solve this error as simple as where is our sign up class enter your address we say address over here and we just copy this line below i know not exactly the proper way to solve this issue but <laughs> it is what it is this time around, it might run. Enter username Raj Mijari is a dear friend of mine. Password root name Raj. Also, the name needs to be next line instead of next. We need to change that. Raj has phone number 9867548. This is a random number, okay? Don't try to call up my friend. <laughs> Enter your address. Raj lives somewhere in Thane MH. Maharashtra. User registered successfully. If we check our table now, is yeah. And we are set. Once the user has registered, they can log in. Raj Mejari. I forgot Raj's password. It is root root login successful and it send sends us to user menu all right guys so that's all that we are gonna do in this project as usual i am gonna upload this latest updates on github and in next video i'll be explaining you how to download this and make it run in your own system and all the requirements that are there to make it run Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And again, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to watch the rest of the videos over here.
over here is the playlist to the entire series and up there is some recommendation video from our channel it's mostly gonna be this video only movie ticket booking system because these are this is the my first playlist and i'll really appreciate it if you sincerely watch it and get if you get any doubts feel free to ask me right thanks for watching and bye